So Makita is a library that you can include and use in the unit tests of your Java projects to enable you to create various types of so-called testables which your tests can use. Now, there are different types of testables, and you'll hear words like dummy, stub, mock, spy, and fake, and don't worry, we'll cover what these are later in the course, but for now, we're just going to refer to them as mock objects in this little intro video to keep things nice and simple. So, these mock objects which Makita lets you create, you can think of these as stand-ins for real objects which you can use in your tests. When you write test code, specifically when you write a unit test, you're really interested in testing the unit. That's the class you're testing and nothing else. That means that in your unit test, the only real production code which executes should be this class you're writing the test for, and that class will work with the stand-ins, these mock objects, as it would do in the real world. This is where Mokito comes in. It lets us create these mock objects super easily, and lets us set up how they'll behave in our tests. Doing this allows you to write really good unit tests which can test your application much more comprehensively and quicker than before. Let's think about a web app for a second. It might have a login controller which can take the username and password entered by the user on a login screen and return a view of the home page for a logged in user if the password is good or return the user back to the login screen if the password's bad. So here's our login controller waiting for those username and password combinations to come in. Now to do its job it will probably need to delegate to some service. So let's say it has a reference to an authentication service. In reality, there'd probably be a repository too to access the database, but let's leave that aside for now. The point is that in production, when the app is deployed and running, these two classes work together to get the user logged in or kick him out, with the login controller processing the web request but delegating to the authentication service to do the actual real work of verifying the user's credentials. So thinking about the testing aspect, when I want to test the login controller, when I want to write a test for it, a unit test for it, what I want to have is the real login controller itself. It's what I'm testing, so it needs to be the real deal. But I want to have a mock authentication service that it works with. That's because the scope of my unit test is just the unit. It's just the thing I'm testing, which in this case is the login controller. So I don't want anything else to be in that test that's real, only the controller. But my controller still needs a service to work with, so I create a mock authentication service that is a stand-in for the real thing. Now, having a mock object courtesy of Makita in place is awesome. It means I can put the real code through its paces. In other words, test all sorts of scenarios to see how my production code will behave. Maybe in the first test, I set up the mock service to behave nicely and return that the user's password is correct. Maybe in the second test, I set up the mock to misbehave and throw an exception. And in the third test, I might return an empty user object. And there are other tests too which I can write. The point is that I can see how my production code behaves through different scenarios in a way that's quick to set up, develop, and fun to use. And hey, I might even fix up the production code while I'm at it, as I learn more about my code than I initially thought about when I was writing it. And I'll have time to do this since Mokito is quick to use and code with. So this is what Mokito is all about. It's about helping you write better unit tests through offering a nice and easy to use API for creating, manipulating, and even validating these mock objects. Specifically, it's easy to set up and install, offers an easy way to create different types of testables, those mock objects we've just seen, has an easy to use API for stubbing behavior, that's programming the mocks to do what you want them to do in your tests. It's also got an API for verifying interactions on mocks too, which lets you check that the collaborators of your production class receive the right calls with the right parameters and return the right responses. And finally, it's got a non-invasive API, so it's easy to apply to real world projects. So there it is. You now have a high level overview of Makita, and I'll see you in the next videos to show you exactly how we can use it.